from a patient education perspective, uh, it's really important that we're able to adequately prepare our patients uh, for the treatment uh, and also for, for their early discharge. So the, the kind of routine processes that um, we, we expect uh, to happen, uh, some of the monitoring, medications, uh, the very common side effects, so that when patients are discharged after that early part of the inpatient stay, uh, they know what to what to report and what is not normal. Also important to offer education during the inpatient stay. Why do we do that when there's a whole team of people looking after the patient? Again, to help uh, the patients understand what might be normal, uh, what might be expected during uh, this treatment phase. So when some of these more unusual uh, symptoms start to arise, then patients feel forewarned. It doesn't make them necessarily any less uh, intimidating or any less anxiety inducing, but it does does help patients be prepared for uh, what to expect and, you know, whether this is a normal side effect, an expected side effect or, or not. Um, so what do nurses need to know? Well, there is a massive uh, amount of uh, resources out there for nurses in training. So uh, for those that are fortunate to be able to attend the uh, EBMT EHAR CAR T meeting, usually happening uh, late January, early February each year, I'm sure there'll be another one in 2023. So do look out for that. Uh, but there are also ed written educational resources uh, and video tools that are available. So um, EBMT have just published the uh, CAR-T handbook, which is a free download uh, on the EBMT uh, website. There are a whole range of resources available for nurses to tap into. Uh, many of the pharmaceutical industry uh, partners have developed tools for nurses and healthcare professionals working in this area that are educational tools. They're generally product specific. Um, so we'll have some of the nuances that uh, accompany certain products because they're obviously produced by uh, the drug companies themselves, but they've often been done in consultation with healthcare professionals. Uh, and so, uh, you know, a, a very good and generally very high quality. There are also uh, a number of uh, webinars that uh, we have currently running with the Go Kart uh, uh, consortium. So um, we have a monthly nurses uh, and health professionals webinar uh, running on the third Thursday of every month. Uh, and uh, do look out for those. Uh, we have a whole range of topics and they'll be running every month uh, throughout 2022.